ladies and gentlemen, my name is Panso6, and today this is the very first episode of my new gameplay series called Quick Play. Now, what Quick Play is, it is a new way I'm handling gameplay videos from here on out. What it's going to do is be about 10 15 minutes of gameplay with commentary, with my impressions, and what I did and what I did not like. Now, the reason I'm doing this is a few of my subscribers let me know that the way I'm handling Let's Plays is kind of not very good. And I, going, taking a look back, I kind of agree with them because basically what I did, I would play, I would talk for the first 10, 15 minutes and leave the rest of the footage for you guys to watch. And that's not really a good way to handling it because anybody can go and watch gameplay without commentary anywhere. So how this is going to work is Quick Play will cover, you know, newer games or games that I am trying out for the first time or I want to show you guys and I want to talk the whole 10 15 minutes about how I feel about the game as well as some impressions and the let's plays will be just me having fun playing the game with full commentary on you know, this would be goofy it could either just be me a group of friends is playing it and that's what let's plays are and you know I should have done that from the start but you know I'm still learning. I'm still new to the YouTube uh, game. So, but anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the newly released Doom. Um, I've been playing. I probably put like three hours into it, and <laughs> it's it's really fucking good. Um, the campaign. I, see, I I didn't care too much for the multiplayer, which I'm not big into multiplayer shooters. Um, now that will change with Overwatch because I sunk a lot of hours into the Overwatch beta. But, you know, <laughs> whenever I played the beta for Doom, I was hoping that this would not be how the game, like the single player is going to be. And I am so happy at this point that it's not. The single player portion and the multiplayer portion are two different games. And I, I don't know, I probably will not spend time with the multiplayer I don't like the uh, fact that there's a season pass, but it's just multiplayer-centric, um, and, you know, I was hoping for maybe Doom expansions, but I've been keeping track of this game for a few years now, and I knew this game was going to be awesome, because A, I think, I'm pretty sure it's the same studio that worked on Wolfenstein, The New Order, and The Old Blood. And those games were absolutely awesome. The best way to come back to a series has been kind of dormant. It's not been well taken care of. And basically kick everybody's asses with it. And this is how I feel with Doom. If you guys play the older Doom games, which um, today, today's stand standards, they still kind of hold up. Um, you can Everybody recognizes the very first level of Doom. Um, or just, you know, the way the game looks. Um, now, playing this game reminds me of Doom 2 more than anything because it's it's a whole lot more hardcore. Um, it's, it's bigger, it's bad, it doesn't feel like Doom 3. Um, it just feels up straight up like an old school kick your ass or bust your teeth in shooter. And it's great, it's great. The single player content is awesome. Um, I kind of wish I got it on PC. Um, the only reason I didn't because my PC needs upgraded badly. Um, I can play some things pretty great for the most part, but I want to experience that game with the NVIDIA 1080 if and when I ever get this thing upgraded. That's my plan, is by hopefully by this year or beginning of next year is have this rig completely updated. That way I can play some of the newer games, and Doom feels like it would be way better with a mouse and keyboard. And that's probably a big duh for most of us, especially uh, PC Master Race guys, which I salute you. Um, yeah, I'm playing it currently on Xbox One, and it feels great. It really does. It's, uh, it's smooth. Um, I have not noticed any frame rate drops. And one of my biggest things that I was worried about was the glory kills. I thought that was going to slow things down, which it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, how the glory kills work is, say you inflict a lot of damage to a demon. So what will happen is 
you'll see the daemon light up either blue or yellow. So you go up and you press in on the, the well, in the case of the Xbox One, you press in on the right uh, analog stick and it performs a brutal, brutal, brutal takedown. It just basically bash their heads in, kick their heads in, take their arms off and smash them. It, it's, it's absolutely awesome. And it's really quick, too. It does not take you out of the action. It, I thought it was going to be something like, I don't know, uh, Call of Duty. Well, Call of Duty is Halo Reach is a good example. Uh, when they did the um, assassinations, it kind of took you out of the game for a moment. But this does not do that. This is absolutely quick, brutal. It's not taking you out of the action. It's still fast. Um, enemies, they spawn really, really fast. There's never a time when you're taken out of the action, uh, except for when you're kind of checking out things, maybe exploring after you've killed a room full of demons. It gives you a little bit of a breather, then it throws you right in again. And if you guys get a chance, and, which I'm using mainly the shotgun, which I can't wait until I get the double shotgun, and oh my god, it's so good. Um, <laughs> another thing that I got to see was the chainsaw kills, which is crazy. I, I'm pretty sure it, it runs off ammo too, so if you, I'll, I'll show you guys the chainsaw kills here on the actual gameplay, and it's absolutely nuts. It's bonkers. Um, you know, you you, <laughs> you pop them in, pop the chainsaw land, you tear these demons up, and you see guts and gore just flying everywhere. And, oh man, man, it's so good. Um, now, it's an old school, it's very old school shooter. I mean, you're picking up your health kits, your armor kits, you don't have any regenerating health, you gotta get your ammo, there's no reloads, or... ADS, none of that. This is purely an old school shooter, and it feels feels so good. It feels really, and I, I was kind of hoping that that would transcend into the multiplayer portion, being something like Quake or you know anything, something good. I don't really think it needs multiplayer, but of course, you know the single player that's there. And I'm pretty sure Bethesda just needed to make sure this game has some legs. That I'm, they think, well, this game should be really big, and the multiplayer should be big, everything should be good big. But I don't think it's going to take off. I don't think the multiplayer is going to stick. It is being worked on by certain Affinity. If you guys are familiar with them, they worked on Halo maps as well as some Call of Duty maps uh, for a while, and I believe they also worked on the. Um, remake of Halo, uh, it was Halo 1 and Halo 2, um, and they, they do have some cred in terms of first person shooters and multiplayer, and I do give them that, but they've, the only thing they've really done was remakes, so, or remasters, I'm sorry, but their big thing was multiplayer, which that's the thing, um, Doom's multiplayer, I think it's suffering from identity crisis, it does not know what it wants to be, it's either it feels a bit like Halo, but it also feels Call of Duty-like. Um, I didn't care too much for it, um, but it might be one of those things that might take a little while to get into. You know, I would, I'd like to see this game become super successful. I want it to be able to sell, you know, millions of copies and warrant a sequel because this is awesome. Um, you know. I played Doom 3 when it came out, and I played the BFG edition, uh, all the expansions, and, you know, I really liked Doom 3. A lot of people didn't, as a whole lot slower, um, but Doom 3 was a really good game to me. And I, when I was younger, I played Doom all the time, Doom 2, Ultimate Doom, uh, Doom 1, um, it's Brutal Doom, which I think, I think the creators of this game got a little inspiration from Brutal Doom, because this game is downright brutal um, now right at the beginning of the game just right at the beginning it throws you right into the action and it's crazy because you it, it reminded me of Dead Space 2 um, when Isaac Clark wakes up and uh, this dude is trying to wake him up and he turns into a necromorph it kind of reminds me of that but you get a gun immediately when the first two minutes of the game starts you're automatically into the action and you're just blowing demons apart 
And how it works, you find a new weapon, you get to play with that weapon for a while, you could use some upgrades with the weapon, make it more powerful, you could switch the upgrades, upgrade your armor, um, and all kinds of stuff. And it doesn't, like, it doesn't feel like there's a limited amount of ammo. You know, I do feel find that, you know, I do lose a lot of ammo, like I'll run out of shotgun ammo fairly quick and uh, the machine gun or the pistol or the chainsaw, but, you know, for the most part, it's easy to find, and, um, you know, they still have a berserk mode, uh, where you just basically beat down a demon with your fist, one hit kills, smashes into pieces, and, you know, this is, I, I've only played two hours in this game, so this is not a full review, and I can't wait to play even more of it, because I haven't even touched even, you know, all the weapons, and I, there's more to do, I know that, uh, plenty of secrets to find, and I know there's plenty of Easter eggs as well, just looking at some of the gameplay videos from the developers. Now, that was a lot, that was a lot of controversy, a little bit, not, maybe a lot. There was no review copies going out to, you know, gaming journalists or gaming sites, and that made me a little bit worried because usually when that happens, there's something wrong with the game. There's something wrong with it, but their argument was Doom is to be played like a complete package, which I don't really agree with that because the fact they <laughs> they had a beta, which it wasn't a beta because the beta is usually in a state where it's not complete. That game was complete two weeks ago. The only thing they was doing adding a little bit of polish. So they call the Doom multiplayer beta a beta. It's kind of... Uh, underselling it because that was the full multiplayer experience. They might have only put a few maps in it, but that was the game. Um, that's what do you always want to expect from the multiplayer itself. Now, as far as graphics go, it's, they look good. They look really good. Um, nothing mind blowing. Nothing mind blowing. Um, it does look like Wolfenstein uh, New Order, which that's a good looking game. Um, now, all platforms, I'm sure, look great. PS4. I know the PC is going to blow everybody away, even looking at the <laughs> the gameplay in the NVIDIA 1080 environment, um, hitting almost 200 <laughs> FPS, which is ridiculous. That's why I want this, because apparently the 1080 is like uh, maybe twice as powerful as the Titan X. I don't know how true that is. I looked at the benchmarks, and you know it looks like it is, and... From all the reviews of it so far, um, I think it's it. That's going to be the card you get. Um, so uh, what I'm hoping is eventually getting one, then getting another, running SLI, and oh, oh my god, it's going to be amazing. But yeah, it, it's great. Um, like I said, if you are looking into buying Doom, if this, if you like old school Doom or old school first person shooters. I feel that you will not be disappointed with this game. Uh, like I said, if you like, we'll sign a new order. And you like, I believe it's Machine Head Games and work on this. Um, it, it's great. It's a quality shooter. It doesn't feel like it's, you know, Call of Duty. It, it's a breath of fresh air for somebody, especially like me, that's tired of, you know, these military shooters and sci-fi shooters that's like Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, not really looking forward to this. Um, but it's a breath of fresh air. It takes me back to the glory game days of shooters and you know, I can't wait to play more of it. So at this point, without even you know beating the game, I'm gonna say I highly recommend it. Um, and you can always wait, get it on sale, uh, but you know any platform it should be good. Uh, I would prefer the PC if you're looking to buy the game. I would say PC is probably your best bet, and I will be switching to the PC version fairly soon. Hopefully, like I said, it's going to be after the upgrade, so once we do that, I will have some gameplay of that with, you know, the fraps running. That way you guys can see how it runs on uh, that card in my build, and yeah. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by to check out this gameplay video. Uh, this is how I'll be handling, handling gameplay from here on out. So it'll be pure commentary with some gameplay in the background of the newest game. That way you can get the first impressions and hopefully you guys like it. Be sure to let me know in the comments what you 
want to see, what I did wrong, what I did right, and what you want to see next. Again, my name is Pansom6, and thank you very much for stopping by, and be sure to like and subscribe.